Hello guys and welcome to a very unexpected video, last minute decision to come to the NEC. I want to just say a big thank you to Alex on the Modern Executive Classic Car Group uh, for sorters of tickets. You know the stand which I stand at uh, every time I come here. A big thank you to Alex and Chris for helping us out. Last minute decision, picked up Charlie from school yesterday, come straight down here, stopped in the hotel. So here we are, it's the Practical Classic Classic Car and Restoration Show. I'm reading it off that, it's a bit of a mouthful. So. Without further ado, I'm not going to talk on too much. I'm going to let Charlie say hello. Can say hello? And we'll do a very brief and basic walk around. Me. Just got stopped by a lovely gentleman there from the Morgan Sport Club. I do like these things. Do you want to show what the man gave you? He's got a self a nice sticker to put on so that, by a badge. There we go. So I just want to say a big thank you to that group, Morgan Sports and Car Club. Very nice of them. So there we go. So we may as well start the video off right here. There we go. So, as you can see, this is the whole point of doing fixing ups. We've got like an old generator there. Kind of stuff I like to look at, guys. You're probably not interested, but I do find all this interesting. Little Reliant there. What they're called again, a fox, aren't they? I'm not great with some stuff again. I'm just going to quickly just say what I was saying there, guys. This is a one take run. Do not hang on with every word. I am not. A massive uh, gar I'm not full of info about cars I'm not a car reviewer I just want a garage I'm a mechanic and a lot of the cars here are way past my time so just so you know do not hang on my every word I apologize if the footage isn't steady I'm just carrying my phone doing it all it's just rough and ready but it's just to give you guys an insight to what's going on here so back to what we're filming so yeah so I've got some beautiful old cars here in various stages of repair an old Rover tell you what they are Land Rover lovely series one absolutely brilliant that I'm sure a lot of years will be able to tell us about that right over the high-end stuff there or a Carrera but all the back end off they must be doing some kind of work to it ah, lovely what scored a favorite that's lovely that is I remember working on those when I first started out Again, in various forms of repair, but that's the whole point of this show. People are allowed to work on their cars while they're here, which I think is a fantastic idea. I really do. Headlamp washer moment, do like those. There's one of the original Skodas with the engine in the back, which is rather nice. We'll have a little pop round the back of these. I do like to see what's in the back. Lovely. There you go. Proper, proper Skoda. Gentleman's just switched on the light there. That's great. Yeah, guys, just been having a chat. Uh, I was just talking about when I used to work on these. The old 1300, all alloy. Duckums as well. Remember the old guy used to help me out? Used to talk about Duckums quite a lot. I was just saying when I was this big, my dad used to show us around these and I would go straight to the front to look where the engine was and that'd be nothing. <laughs> that was a joke he used to play on us. He used to say, go and start fixing the engine. When I was your size. And there we go, there's Charlie in the driver's seat. You like it? 34,000 miles, lovely. That's genuine. Oh, it's lovely that. It's a risk. Yes, that was great. Thank you very much to that gentleman for letting me look round. And there's another one, a red one. Fantastic. Love an old Skoda. Octavia, that's got written on. That must have been one of the first. Octavia, because they're the Rapids. Octavia's. It's nice to see Scorer's kept some of their names. That is really nice, that. I honestly did not know these went back that far. And it generally is an Octavia. Well, you learn something every day. So there we go. Right. Oh, Charlie, you'll know who drives one of these. Who drives one of these? Hmm? Mr Bean and that's Charlie's favourite we might even have a more closer match to Mr Bean's that one's got no engine in look see it's getting restored the little A-series engine will be in there and what else have we got for my time guys so again if I go quiet I can't give you an answer to everything of what everything is a VW there Series 1 Land Rover see all greasy greased part everybody's in the process rebuilding hubs the whole point of this show Opal Manta lovely I do like some of these proper rally car front end 
and this is all of the charity show where they have all the supercars. I couldn't tell you a great deal much about this, but it's something to do with a charity. Is it Sporting Bears? Uh, and like for charity for something, I'm not sure. You, you get to pay and have a go in these cars. So yeah. So over to whatever they obviously a wooden wooden chassis and stuff here. We'll have a walk down here. Yeah. That's old, very old. So like I've said, a lot of this here is about people working on their cars and doing various things at the show, which I think is a perfect way of filling in your time. I recognise that car. I've actually watched that on a review. I think that must be Jim. James's car, I think. Another Granada State. Lovely Jaggy type. That nice. See, in the, in the state of repair, you see. Got the rockers. That'll be yeah, 6v6, possibly. Correct us if I'm wrong. I'm not 100%. Yeah, that's the same as the one which I'm going to end the video on. On ours, Alex's Granada Estate. This one, I think, has got aircon. I did, I, I'm sure Alex's has as well. Yes, this has very, very early aircon system. See the aircon pump there? You won't find many cars of this age with aircon, in the UK at least, anyway. So it'll be one of the first cars with aircon. I do love that. Uh, Chrome roof, but I do like a Granada state, I have to say. Absolutely fantastic gear. Be the gear X with all those extras on. Lovely. And here we have a little Trabant Universal. Love these things. And they're written on there, it's, it's not cardboard. And these things, two stroke, pretty crude, rudimental engines. I remember a program on these called the Trabant Track. Trek, sorry. And this is at, again my age, 1988, 1989. But very, very crude rear running, very polluting little two stroke petrol engines. Charlie would like these, they're very smoky, these, you know. Two strokes, great. So, we'll have a look around some Fiats on the Fiat group. Oh, that's lovely, little Panda. H Reg, that's very tidy, I do like that. Very nice, little Chitty Chenko. Oh, I used to work on one of these, brings back memories. See, again, in the process of work, getting done, getting some painting done. That's lovely, that is. Fat Panda 4x4, also getting work done. Looks like they're doing a timing belt, possibly, on that. Put the timing belt down there. That should be fun when it's busy. A lot of distractions. Just what I wouldn't want when I'm working. Each to their own, though. I wouldn't fancy doing a timing belt when it's this busy. No idea what this thing is, but it looks pretty cool. A Rom Romeo? <laughs> that is quite a cool little truck. I would assume four-wheel drive, some kind of Eastern European, possibly. It's got Alfa Romeo written on there. Obviously not. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wouldn't like that, but maybe. Who knows? But very different-looking thing. Like I've said, guys, I can't get everything in. See it in some stage of repair with the head off. Lovely Alpha there. That is some Alpha stand. Obviously, it is an Alpha stand. Who knows? It probably is. Never ever seen one in my life. That's beautiful. Little, what would that be? Fog eyed sprite, I think. I think. I'm not big on all this stuff, guys. So don't quote us on everything. I'm trying to keep this in uniform. I'm going to try and walk back round here so I don't miss too much. Otherwise, we'll get into a bit of a mix. A mix up. Oh, another little panda there, 4x4. Four four four. Nice. It's big MG V8. It's nice. But yeah, been a while since I've seen one of those. Really tidy, that is. Super tidy. Can't see the mileage, but. Again, he has a little. Do you know what they are? Mini Clubman. It's like Mr. Bean's car, but it's got a slightly different front end, isn't it? Different front. But the back will look very similar to the Mini. Can I have a look? See? Charlie likes that. I think he would love a little Mini. Would you like a little Mini? Like Mr. Bean's? Mm hmm. Oh, there's a good car, look. Renault 5 GT Turbo. When was the last uh, evil like that reg as well? Proper little classics, these. Love them. Look at that. 
It's been a long time since I've seen one of these. Do you like that? Is that a cool looking car? Do you want to stand next to that one? Huh? We'll get a photo of you later on. Yeah? You like that? Yeah. It's tidy. It's quite a few. Oh, an escort van. I'm a sucker for one of these. We all know Dan when it comes to a van. Look at this. Don't run round. See what the mileage is on this. 61. I actually had one of these with only 40,000 miles. But this has got all the electric windows. Whether or not that was retro fit, who knows? That is tidy. Hello. Right. Yeah, these are really clean. Look at those arches and sills down there. It's been a while since I've seen an Escort van like that. Let's have a look on the back. Yeah, it's got the line iron. Lovely. Another mistake I made selling me Escort van. It was an ex-London council van. I think they only had 50,000 mile on. Deadly to drive though, when the load compensator on the back plays up a little bit and your back wheels lock and you've got the little uh, 1800 non-turbo diesel. I wonder if this is the non-turbo. I don't know. Let's have a look. Is it on there? I'm not sure, but I had the non-turbo one. And by God, <laughs> it used to struggle. But that is a lovely colour. I do. That is one of the cleanest Escort vans I've ever seen. So, onwards. Of course, Dan has to put all what you probably aren't interested in, but that to me is more interesting than something like that. It really is. I do find the, a very tidy commercial very interesting. So you guys are just walking around with me. I'm trying to walk slow enough so it doesn't make the camera move. I am in the process of trying to get a gimbal or something, but we shall see. Ah, nice Nissan there. 300ZX, that is lovely. Humber. I always remember my granddad used to talk about Humbas. Again, guys, way, way before my time. Very nice. I still appreciate what they are. I just can't tell you much. There's a nice car for you. Cavalier. Lovely. SRI. Look at that lovely brown interior. Sports seats. Oh, I love that. Still wheel trims, though. Yeah, your yeah, SR. Quite a rare model, that. There's your Jarek. XGS. This is your V12. 5.3 litre. I mean, I'm very thirsty. Yeah, so there is all sorts. I'm just trying not to get in the way of somebody doing some photography. Got to have a bit of respect for people. Right. There. Just took them. So, onwards. Have a look up here. Lovely colours there. Beautiful. Thank you. No worries. So yeah, middle bridge. Absolutely lovely. Obviously some kind of like, um, I don't know guys, like I said before my time, but uh, Senators. Absolutely lovely those. Again, can't tell you a great deal. This is more just a walk around video so you guys can see what's here. As you can see, in the process of stripping these cars down and doing like a full rebuild challenge of some kind they did this last year I think what their plan is is to fully strip down and rebuild a car um, during the time in the show in my opinion keeping busy makes the time go faster and you all have a good time so there you go that's the I don't know because <laughs> this is the f I am just getting here guys uh, so I can't tell you a great bit there exposed timing belt always makes me wonder how safe they are I see a lot of cars like that. Some of the Ford Cosworths and stuff. As a mechanic, it always makes me cringe seeing exposed timing belts. One stone or something gets in there. You may say, non-interference engine. Well, yeah, okay. But you just don't want that. I just don't get it. I don't know why people have timing belts exposed. Uh, yes, it's quick access and stuff, but it's always been one up there where I've never fully understood. So, onto some minis do like these i'm not gonna lie guys the other week when i was mentioned here i nearly bought an o2 plate cooper s and it was a top of the range one but i like this one with a full glass roof it was a graphite gray color uh, and unfortunately i just didn't get round to completing the deal or getting out to see the guy to, to view it very uh, disappointed i didn't get it because i've always wanted one and here again just in case a lot of you don't know about these minis a Y Reg is one of the very first pre-production ones. I'm probably repeating something you may already know, but if you don't, and you ever see a Y plate, mini like this, snap it up. If it's super cheap, snap it up. 
regardless of what problems it's got, provided it's not totally wrecked. So yeah, hundred percent. Get yourself a wire edge mini because these are pre-production and quite sought after. There's a, con oh, there's a nice one. There is something very nice. A Ford Puma GT. You always know the GT ones because they've got the big arches. I'm telling you what, these are worth big, big money now. Incredibly rare, but at the same time, incredibly good cars. I would love one of these. I think they look absolutely fantastic. I've just spotted something there. Courier. My God, it's when, oh, with a Puma front end. I'm not into customising stuff, guys, but I like that. I've always loved them Courier vans, but somebody's got to put a Puma front end on. That looks brilliant. Probably something done under the bonnet as well. They are becoming super, super rare as well, just with a standard Fiesta front end for Courier. Something that's just disappeared and been forgotten about. Lovely, love that. And there's another Puma GT and another one. Big money, these things now. Incredibly rare to get a hold of as well. I really always did like these when new and I still like them now. So thumbs up to me from the, for them. Wouldn't pay the money they're asking. It's getting a bit silly though nowadays. I know the rare and all the rest of it, but I'm not one about buying or being too interested in cars that have been massively inflated for the price. But yeah, look at these, some of these. Lovely. Again, guys, before my time. But uh, Crayford must be like... I don't know. <laughs> Some kind of custom Cortinas and stuff? I uh, don't know. I love an exam. Yeah, lovely. Lovely those are. Just, there's your Mexico. Lovely. We'll get a look under there, look. Look at that. Some piece of work that entry, isn't it? We've got another one. Oh, no, lovely. I was sucker for an estate car. Walking straight past this more attracted to this <laughs> a 1600 GL Escort love that again similar age to me I absolutely love that I think that looks great with those wheels on a little bit of customising wind deflectors and that but just done right I would rock that 100% 1600 as well so GL so it's like quite a nice spec look at that that is super clean super clean that is absolutely lovely can't quite see the miles but it obviously can't have many that is lovely i love that especially the fact it's an estate right spec right color i love that I may have to zip round this bit quick because that's quite a bit of background music on so i'm just gonna try and skip round as fast as we can here so some nice granada again we will see the other one up there and also we've got the later granada that is lovely, that's some kind of police undercover one Mid Midlands, Old Midlands owner club. Do like that. We will stick the phone through the air uh, window of this because the interiors are lovely. Look at that. God, they make a good interior. They really do. Oh, it's still got all the police gear in as well, look at that. That's great. Are you sure? Oh, lovely. Lovely gentleman's just been telling us about this. He said it's actually just the two litre. Scorpio undercover one, but it's got all of the kind of um, extra body kits being put onto it. You know, the 24 valve. Yeah. That is nice, really tidy. It's got all the police hat and everything in there. You want to sit in? Charlie wants to ever sit in the police car. I've obviously got permission, guys. I don't just go letting myself into people's cars. He's just jumping in. There. It's got all, see, all the ones to put the, the lights on, look. See, the police car things tells you how fast people are going. It's got all the phone and the lights. Isn't that good? Huh? There's, do you want to put the policeman's hat on? Huh? Oh, he's too shy to put the policeman's hat on. But yeah, this thing is lovely. And I've got to say, I do love the Ford Scorpio kind of interior. It's absolutely great. Aircon as well. Nice. Very nice. So, we'll come back to this one later and get some photos. Yeah. I try not to be too rude with people when I'm recording and stuff. I just have to just stop and start. So just so you guys know what's going on. Look at this in some form of various form of... Uh, this is just what I was talking about. The Ford Cosworth engine with the exposed timing belts. Uh, never fully understand it. I know this is obviously getting worked on, obviously. Uh, but I see them up fully running on the roads with no timing case. Just don't get it. Um, but yeah, that is lovely. 
I used to see things, oh yeah, P100 as well. That's got four times four, four wheel drive? Can't be, I don't know. Yeah, very nice. P100, 2.9 V6. That is 4.4, I was looking at that right. So, I'm, I can't go over there because there's too much music going on, so I'm gonna have to stop here. Some lovely Capris. 2.8, all over this, RS500. Again, not showroom condition. Again, no time bell case. <laughs> uh, funny how I just mentioned one thing and then it's on every other one. Actually saying that, this one's got it right. There we go. Nice timing case. How it should be. Very, very clean. Obviously the race ones, but you've just got to love those whale tail spoilers. Absolutely fantastic. Just skip, oh, actually straight to a commercial. Love this. Transit Bullnose. How cool is that? In original condition. Well, with plenty of patina, let's just say. Lovely, that is. The tyre's been flat a while. <laughs> Fuel tank's not too bad, actually, even though the paint's peeling off it. So, yeah, I'm going to just try and go skip around. Sorry, mate. And there's some spark plugs, look. I think it'll need more than spark plugs. Yeah, we'll go something again in various fo forms of repair. Gearbox out, engine. Right, we'll have a quick flick up here and see what we can pick up. It's just getting close to the music here. Have you spotted any favourite cars yet? Did you like the piece car? Yeah? Unfortunately, I'm having to put Charlie through this torture of me filming, which obviously it doesn't involve me speaking to him and he's just following us around. I feel bad on him. But I'm just going to get this video in, and then we've got the rest of the day to spend together. So, just in case you think my poor son's been dragged down, yes, he is for the duration of this video, but I can't do no other because I'm here on my own. I can't leave him with no one. So, yeah, here's a lovely escort. Again, look at some of these camper vans. Look at this one. Prominent. That's going to get you where you want to be, isn't it? Oh, Four-wheel drive. Look at that, Charlie. Like that one? Twin wheels at the back? It's not a bit of kit, that, isn't it? Lovely, that. Be perfect to blast round in. Just seeing this thing heavily modded with the headlamps, with the intakes, great big intercool at the bottom. Not standard. I bet you that thing shifts put a max power thing from in the day I'm gonna have to um, limit myself over there for the music for now obviously there's announcements going off but he has some like muscle cars drag cars look at that big dodge the size of those back tires look at that good year eagles proper slicks look at them seen them no tread on them proper racing slicks I knew Charlie would like that. Do you like that one? Yeah? He has some little, I don't know, <laughs> but they're pretty cool. What is that? Let's have a look around the back of it. Never seen one of these in my life. I love to just see something I've never seen before. Like that? Look at them. Great little things, look at that. Take like a wheelbarrow with an engine on the back. Little go kart there, look, Charlie. Oh no, it's, it's There's your little glass. I forgot what they're called. I have actually seen those before. With the domed roof, that's got the soft top roof, hard top. Again, there's like blood bank bikes. All sorts, guys. But like I've said, this is a restoration show, not a, like a, a show as such with immaculate cars in. It's designed just like exactly what people are doing, working on their cars, etc, etc. Again, I'm getting into a bit of an area here where there's quite a lot of music. Uh, so I'm having to uh, just keep talking through it. That's a cool back seat, isn't it? Hello. Say hello. Charlie, Charlie thought that was real. Did he think that was real? <laughs> yeah. You get a few looks for somebody. I'll hang it out the back. 
Um, I'm going to have to skip up here, guys, because that's too much music on up there. There's Bangers and Cash Group, you see. So well, there's an announcement on, it drowns out the music. I haven't seen one of them for a long time. They're quick disappearing as well. Little smart coupes, and I've just had to come along here to look at this Escort van, modified one. Just don't see them anymore. And they're pretty new, to be fair. You know, it's 2001, it's not like a classic as such. But uh, yeah, I just love to see something being saved. So, we're going to try and head somewhere around here. So, I'm going to pause it for now and I'll come back to you. Little scamp there, they're great, they're good. Well, good fun, them, Charlie. Get one of them, look, there's no doors or nothing on it. That's cool, isn't it? What is it? The grid bin. That's what it's called. The grid bin. It looks like the grid bins, doesn't it? That's a pretty cool little thing. Let's have a look up here. There's another mini. These are all based like minis. A nomad. That's pretty cool. It's the right size for you, isn't it? Go and stand next to it. Your nelly is high. See? Bet you'd like to drive Olivia around in that, wouldn't you? Yeah? Think you would reach the pedals in there? Yeah? It's cool, isn't it? Take like a little van. Nice big Jags, Daimlers. A Rickman. What they even existed, to be fair. Yeah, had some Triumphs. Apologise, rushing a little bit, guys, but I don't want the video to be too long because while we're here in the NEC, I've got really good 5G. So what I'm going to try and do while I'm here is get this uploaded, and then when I get back to the hotel tonight, get an edit. I had a bit of a disaster at the hotel because uh, I've been some idiots staying over. They got too drunk last night, and the police got called. We missed our breakfast this morning, which I'm gutted about because the restaurant is still closed, and I'm don't think we might even get our tea tonight, which is rather annoying. And I wanted to sit down, have a couple of pints, edit this and upload it. So unfortunately it may not get uploaded until we get home. Back to the video. Early S Reg Discovery 2 there. That is actually rather rare. I've never seen a one that early actually. It must be one of the first. And a G Reg one as well. This was at one of the last shows we were at. As well, in fact, no, not the G Reg, there's a C Reg one knocking about somewhere. C Reg, never seen one before. And that was a very, very early uh, Freelander one. Our Reg, we'll go around with that in a minute. That's actually a late Rangy, original one, K Reg. Yeah, again, I love to see people on work on their cars. There is something about this WAC, it's only all like, like sort of like special production ones and stuff. Yeah, I used to remember working on these. What will these be? The TDI 200s, I think. It's going back a long time before I worked on, since I worked on one of these last. Another G Regger. L Reg. There was last time I was here a C Reg one of these. Um, and this one's actually a, a bit of a, a different one. It's actually got the multi point injection. Two meter four cylinder. 800 C. It isn't the K-Series though, guys, I forgot what it's called, it's the T, I think, T-Series, bet you that's thirsty, it's quite rare, but I bet you it's a lot more refined than the diesels, but you may struggle for some torque uh, while it's doing a bit of off-road, but I do, you know me, I love me ML, that's a petrol, I do like a petrol off-roader, I've just spied this, which I have to get in here, lovely, 04 plate, good condition. Don't often see many of these, just a standard uh, Z Tech, but just nice to see it at the show. I know it's an 04, it's nothing new, but at the end of the day, they're all becoming rare, and I say to people, don't get yourself so wound up about what's written on the number plate. 04, these were around since 1998, 99. So, to me, they are very quickly becoming a, a modern classic car. Let's have a look what we've got here some lovely Rovers, the SD ones. The test that one, lovely. Rusty bonnet one. Charlie will like that. Look at that rusty bonnet. Do you want to feel it? Check in his hand. I wouldn't normally let him touch somebody's car, but uh, a rusty bonnet, he's not going to harm it. 
with all the headlining drop winners but I did want to just have a look round here at this early Freelander 1 I'm just going to have to walk quick here guys to get past our reg must be one of the first it's got to be I used to work on a S reg one I thought that was early and this R is definitely one of the first so we'll just have a walk a bit further up pass Alex's stand and head back up in fact I'm not going to pass Alex's stand because I'm going to finish the video off there because I don't want to just turn up and then disappear again but yeah that's a V8 S there. that's quite a rare model obviously been some kind of like garage find like a barn find or something so all the roof lines hanging down let's just hope this one gets restored to its former glory lovely a 75 there again very very fast becoming a modern classic the way that the sills and the rear subframes rot that are quickly disappearing off the road one of my favorite cars i absolutely love the 75 absolutely fantastic and the zt so we're just going to do a bit more walk around i'm 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 not joking here i'm just getting here so i don't know what's where i don't know my way around so i excuse this if it's all higgly piggly i'm just trying to get like i said you guys a bit of decent video in before the place becomes absolutely packed so back to the recording some nice various bikes there if you, you guys at the bikes you'll know a hell of a lot more than me just spotted uh, a few cars of interest over here Nice Peugeot, three or six convertible. I haven't seen one of them in a while. I've said I've just spotted that. What do you call it again? He reminds me of Montblanc. Back in the future. I do know what it's called. My brain just isn't working. That's probably a few lack of sleep. Yeah, DeLorean, that's what it was. Just come back to us. Get caught in a bit of traffic here, people. So just go to on by, in case you wonder why I keep flipping the back and forwards. Instead of keep pausing it, when I get stuck between loads of people, I'll just revert back to me. It's over 100 there, or Metro as we all know. Oh, definitely car big present. Saab 9000. Lovely. Ignore that car. Tim, if you're watching this, I regret selling. WGT, P something something, WGT, 2.3 turbo anniversary. One of the, honestly, best cars I've ever had. Worst decisions I've made selling it. I wonder if that's got the little tag on, it has the little tag, I don't know if you can see that, on the seat, like my Honda, telling you what leather it is and where it comes from, lovely. Yeah, I do honestly miss, miss that I had. Mrs. Bouquet's car, you all remember that, keep up appearances, always springs to mind Richard's car. There we go. So we'll have a quick look up here because we'll get caught in a bit of traffic. Sorry guys, I'm not sure what went on there. Just I, I think I've done a section of not recording there. I won't know that until I watch it back. Because I went to press pause and it was already on play. So I think we've just missed a Clio V6. In fact, I'm going to go back round because it's just there to refilm it. If I'm repeating myself, I very much apologise, but I'm not sure what happened there. We may have just missed a couple of cars. Um, I don't know, so if, if it seems as if it repeats itself here, I apologise. Yeah, like I was saying, a Clio V6, mean looking little cars, Brembo, but some Jaguar brakes on it. Jaguar, obviously you can see in the back there, there's the V6 engine, where the back seats used to be. Lovely mean looking car, sorry if I've just repeated myself twice there guys, but I just can't remember how it become to be on pause. Who knows? But I am going to pause it now, so I come into a busy point. I want to get through all these people, keep a hold of Charlie's hand, and I'll come back to you in the next hall. Yeah, guys, I'm just getting a bit carried away looking at some tools. So we'll be back later to see if Dan can spend any money. It's cost us enough money. I, I, I've said I paid for my breakfast and everything this morning. I'm only talking to guys because there's nothing much to see here. I had all my breakfast paid for now. And I've had to go out and spend money somewhere else getting something to eat. And they still haven't confirmed the visit I'm getting my money back. So what's your opinion, guys? I'll, I'll let you have a little bit of information what went on last night. Um, basically, people have been drinking heavily um, in the bar. And that was a bit of an altercation. They've had to close up and the police are actually there. Uh, so 
they've said you can't have your breakfast, so we've both been starving from dinner time yesterday. They said the restaurant may not be open tonight and may not be open tomorrow morning. And um, I'm not going to name names, um, but they let a particular type of group, how can I say it? A particular type of people in, uh, a big group of them, this is Premier Inn, uh, these kind of people often cause problems. I'm not going to get too into it. In my opinion, I'm blaming Premier Inn that they should not have let such a great big group of people in like that, which they know will cause problems for the welfare of my my child. As we walked in, there was a guy on his face, lying on the floor, full of blood. And that's what we were greeted with walking through the door of Premier Inn, which is not what I expect. So, this is off topic. Uh, what would you do? Would you make a complaint to Premier Inn or just leave it? But we've lost our breakfast, what we paid for. Possibly tea tonight, what we paid for, and breakfast tomorrow morning. And, like I've said, I've lost my time of being able to sit and edit my videos in the bar and have a couple of pints, which I was planning on doing after a full day at work yesterday, up first thing in the morning, and a long drive down to basically Birmingham. So, not good. Anyways, enough of my yap. You guys who are just watching this as a walk around uh, video randomly, I do do a YouTube channel, obviously. Um, the Cardiff Garage Northeast, so check out the other videos. This is a bit more of a family orientated vlog channel as well. So, in case you're thinking, why is he keep yapping on about his personal life? This is what I do with my uh, viewers. Just so, in case you're wondering, well, this is meant to be a walk around thing only. It isn't. This is like a, a road trip out with me and my son. It's a family event, and I'm here to see Alex, Chris, James, and all the rest of them at the executive car stand. So, um, it is a social event. So, I like to try and be sociable rather than just walking around, rhyming off car after car and having no personality in the channel. So, just thought I would let you know. So, the Bond Bugs few of them there as we know the cheddar cheese slices i think they're great little things cool just love anything different me <coughs> something that's definitely become like definitely iconic now and i would imagine very collectible yeah cool cool things and i have just spotted a nice big american police car here a crown vic just getting gained guys sorry caught in traffic here which is exactly why I wanted to get the filament done early. This is obviously on airbags. When you look at that wheel, the cam bar on that. Yeah. Big V8. Lovely. Love that sign there. You can't get away from the fact of having a police interceptor on the back of a car. It's cool. End of <laughs> and a great big proper bull bar on the front. I'm just gonna tap it, but yeah, that is a proper bull bar that would certainly nudge somebody off the road. Right, I've got a few staircases to work through. I don't know what's in this other hole, but I'll catch you soon. Right, nice Montego Maestro van there, Dynatrol. Ages since I've seen put the yellow underneath. Might have been a, one of the, uh, what do you call it? Was it I forgot who was it? Telecom. Old telecom vans. Nice saw 500. Lovely. There's obviously a lot of work going on here, in here, in this hall, and a lot of items being sold, so I'm not really sure what the rest of them. I have seen some cars up there. Like I've said, this is more of a kind of promotion thing where they're selling stuff like tyres and uh, promoting various products you can hear like uh, tools going and stuff there's an old Saab show that little two stroke thing I remember one of these coming into here last year filled the whole arena full of smoke yeah there's quite a lot of cars in here you see a lot of old Saabs here look at that one A look under the bonnet. Yeah, been stood a while, that one. There's one of the very last of the Saabs. Four wheel drive one, this. Yeah, I do like these. I love the back end of these as well. Always said. One car being tempted to get a four wheel drive 93X. TD, DI4. 
personal thing for me with these, I'd rather have the Petrol one because the 1900 diesel in them, the Fiat engine, and I'm not a massive fan. Good engines, don't mind them, but yeah, for me, I would rather have a proper Saab engine. At least that anyway, the 2.3. We're looking here at a 9.5 estate. Lovely. Again, if I see one of these 2.3 turbos, aero, like I said, there you go, 2.3T, lovely, the one you want in a state form, late one, nice spec, very nice. That would suit me down to the ground all day long, rather it be a manual, but nice, let's have a look at some info on that, don't know what that means, no idea. Um, so yeah, again, from one estate car, great estate car, come on, Saab 95 to the next. T5 Volvo. Is it the 740 or is it a V70? I don't know. They look very similar. Ah, the 850 T5 with a tow barn, of course. Lovely. Hmm. What's your favourite? 95 Estate. Volvo Estate. I honestly can't pick. I think they're both brilliant cars. I do like my Swedish stuff. There's a proper classic Volvo. Orange French spec headlamps. There's obviously a lot of the Japanese stuff and that there, some Mitsubishi's, Toyota's up there. Getting quite busy into there, so I'm going to try and avoid that bit for now. So, yeah, there's cars, like, dotted around in here. Oh, here's yeah, something. Again, just catches me eye more than anything else in this pass. One of the, not the original, but, you know, close to it. I love those bulges on the mirrors like that, what they have on. Yeah. One of the first few cars that come quite often was then on headlamps. Headlamp wash a moment again. Lovely. It's obviously got the captain's chairs in the passenger seat there, swung round. There's a motorbike in the back. Just great, great cars. One of the best MPVs made. So he has some of the, the old Citroens. Ah, it's a Kangoo. I know you got one of these a few weeks ago. 4x4 Kangoo. Rare, rare things now. But actually, rare, rare when they were new. Never mind now. Um, I would like one of those. I think it was a van, actually. What This is more of a, of a people carrier. The one I looked at was a van. And obviously, you can see where they've been jacked up there. There's your little drive shaft at the back there, going to the rear hub. You'll probably see. No, you won't see it. The diff. So, yeah. I did nearly pick myself up a 4x4 van, Kangool, a few weeks ago. Have a look what we've got here. Really old uh, Toyota camper van there. That, like these, obviously, the Toyotas. Toyota section. Nice Celica there. Lovely colour. Love that colour. Again, guys, headlamp washer moment. Nice little disguised ones. And he has like some form of. Don't know. Is that a real Lamborghini or is it a. What do you call it? Kid car thing. Citroen CX Special. Really? That is actually what it says. Hmm. Obviously, like a kit car of some kind. Let's go and have a look at it from the back. Not normally massively into that kind of thing, but that's different, to say the least. Well, that you see. Must be doing tests on the suspension and stuff. Pretty cool. Would you like a sticker with that van? Just getting talking to a Citroen guy, but yeah, that's a pretty cool bit of kit that is. The Citroen on the back, Citroen Lamborghini. Love that. Of course, just got talking to the Citroen group about the ZX. So, yeah, it's always funny, isn't it, when you get put on the spot and somebody asks you about your car. I haven't seen the ZX for about seven months and things just go out your mind. Obviously, I haven't had much sleep. Uh, you know what it is? I totally forgot the spec of my ZX. Advantage, but I just couldn't. I could not get it out me out me me mind. I, could, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Whether it's because I'm under pressure in the middle of recording, got Charlie here, a lot going on. I don't know, but um, I don't know if there's a great deal much to record now. So we'll go and have a look. Little petrol powered bike there. Probably actually road legal. Some of these I've seen one going around my area actually with a number plate on. Genuine road legal. Some kind of import Fiesta. Never seen one with the exhaust at the side. Ford Fiesta. 
I don't even know, guys. I don't know. Never seen one of these before. Yeah, Ford Healy Fiesta. Ford Healy Fiesta. It's got all the power bin plate never for none. Never seen one. It's all legit and genuine. Again, I'm just filming it. New to me. He was content. Oh, look at this. I knew Charlie would like. Look at that exhaust. Looks like a machine gun. Seen it? That's pretty cool, isn't it? You like them big tyres? The Jeep. Yeah, it's a pretty cool looking thing, that, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I think this might be coming up to the end of the video, guys. We'll have a look round here. Wow, that is definitely rough. Oh, as rough as it gets. Got air conditioning. Definitely got air conditioning. Wow. Yeah, this is like some kind of like a restoration area. So you've still got the weeds going out the wheel trims. Or hubcaps, whatever you wish to call them. Two litre Crusader, Cortina. Yeah, look at that. Look at the moss go on there. You can actually still smell this. Look at that. Oh, ho. Yeah. Is that savable? Really? Good old bin bag. Get the spider webs on there. Hollywood love that. Put the spider webs in there. Ooh, nice Mondeo. Need to look at that. We'll just finish off looking at this. It's got some lovely wildlife going on it, I will say. <laughs> look at that. More air conditioning. Ooh, look at this little Mazda. We need to look at this. I missed that. Little 323. Rare, rare car. Shame about the back window and the interior are missing, but somebody, I'm sure, would save this. I like that. Arnold Clark, an old car. <laughs> the number plate on that, even if the car gets scrapped, it's got to be worth some money. Definitely. Yeah, lovely little Mazda. And to be fair, it looks rather sound. Bit of work, but nothing too much. Well, I have just caught my eye. There's a little uh, escort there. Lovely. This has caught my eye, guys, because it's more of my time. Dio Kia X. Obviously been parked up somewhere. We are archers. Somebody's made a start. That's been cut out. Who knows? Nice gear. Leather interior. It's been towed out of somewhere. Crack bumper. Yeah. Barn find. V6 as well. Gear Estate. Nice. What's this funny little thing? No idea. Never seen one. <laughs> Tax disc says 1989 on it. Oh, I'll get a look at some of this stuff. Oh, and a commercial. We need to go and look at that. Love the Astra. The last time you see an Astra of this type. Long time. Love the back ends of these, I must say. I do. 1600S as well. Decent engine. Thought it was going to be an uh, automatic, actually, but it's not. It's a manual. Look at this. An Uno Turbo. Can't even remember the last time I've seen one. B Reg Uno Turbo IE Lovely Doesn't look too bad in fairness Really doesn't look too bad And the window's open so we can get the camera in without reflection Look at all them gauges That's so cool Turbo boost gauge What we got down there? Oil temperature, oil pressure I do like a lot of gauges like that That is so cool and I do like that on the Obviously it's upside down But yeah, that is nice Uno Turbo. Lovely that. Hope someone saves it. Right, commercial time. Do like a transit in that one. Look, Char Charlie will not know. This has got a tow bar on the front. So moving caravans and trailers about. Front mounted tow bar. Wonder what this actually was. The cage in the back. 
a sim card for some description. Ah, there we go then. The airport truck. And obviously that's what the tow bar on the front's for, for moving around the various different dollies and stuff uh, on the airport, on the airfield. Some kind of cage in the back, which I'm not sure what it's for. Oh, it would have been nice if all that sign writing was still on the on the side. Hope that thing gets nicely. That would look absolutely fantastic. Renovated. Restored, whatever you wish to call it. It's even got the sidestep one there. Might be where they put the suitcases. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. But yeah, that's lovely, that. Got this little, it's like some kind of bar frame on the front. So, I think we're drawn to an end because over there is auction stuff which I'm not really interested in filming uh, auction stuff because it's not really, it's just like car sales. Uh, we'll have a quick flick. Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's a great deal more up there. I'm going to try and keep this video under an hour. Yeah, it's all like the sales stuff. Um, so, I'm going to walk back to our stand, have a quick look around our stand, and then we'll leave it there, guys. Just had to show that V10 one. Not many of them V10s around. Nice plate. But again, it's all sales stuff at the moment, so I don't really want to record the sales stuff. Just to me, that's not really a car show, is it? Just had to record that, guys. An f Reg Cadbury's Cream Egg. <laughs> little cool little thing. Obviously, some kind of sponsor of something but yeah I love that it's pretty cool I didn't see that coming in before nice red up 19 guys convertible I love that on the back effort to put in there really nice leather seats automatic too lovely that Charlie likes that one he's just pointed to us so we're just about at the stand we're going to have a quick say hello to everybody, do a quick fill around the cars and we'll leave it there. It's not been a bad time getting round but it is getting really busy now so I will struggle. She's coming up with this dance, so this is Alex's Granada State. I believe he has been on with fitting these um, spot lamps to it. Again, headlamp washer moment guys, disguised. But this thing is just something else, it is absolutely gorgeous. Gear X. It's even got AC as well. I was telling you on that other one, just on that switch there, 29,000 mile automatic V6. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. These things are huge. I never remember remember them being this big. 2.8 gear X. We'll just get Charlie to stand there. Stand next to the tow bar. Look at that. Just eats them up. <laughs> so yeah, this is really nice. Of all the chrome roof rack at the back there in the luggage slides you don't get that on cars anymore such a, such a good idea and the chrome wiper twin washer jets on the rear wiper as well I'm not sure exactly what year this is I believe that's his private plate but yeah cracking looking car that that's his bluebird as well this is James's I've never seen this one how have I seen this one that he had the red one I've seen that at a few shows but I've never seen this black one he, he, he has said it's a recent one 1800 GS yeah really nice I do like the pinstriping on it again something you just do not see anymore now bluebirds lovely looking car of course we've all seen Chris's mildly modified Mondeo Gear X honestly I do love these wheels full heated leather cruise control Again, 62,000 mile. Heated windscreen, absolute godsend to have. Yeah, this is a car Chris ever decided to sell, which I don't think he will. I would be very, very tempted to buy it. Lovely. This is James's Jag. I haven't actually seen him yet. I don't know where he is. Um, but yeah, I, I can't tell you much about it because I've never seen it before. And I haven't seen anybody, I haven't spoken to anybody. I feel very rude. I've turned up and then disappeared. Uh, but I need to get the filming in before it gets dark. Dark, what I'm on about. I'm too busy. But yeah, lovely. E Regger. Obviously, the back of them, Mondeos, look fantastic. So, unfortunately, that's as great much as I can fit in. 
I would get a few people to say hello. I don't really think they'd appreciate the camera being stuck in their face. So I want to now, while I've got 5G, get this video uploaded and, and sit and come here to socialise with people rather than take a free ticket and be rude and not talk to everybody and disappear doing my own film. So I hope you all understand that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you ha I, would, I was going to do a bit more filming, but I can't join them together. If you have enjoyed it, please hit the like. Leave a comment, if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe, helps us out an absolute mint. And again, the little extras like buying me a coffee and super thanks really do help the water me fund these trips because they ain't cheap. So, I'll catch you all soon. Sorry about it being higgledy-piggledy, I can't help it. And like I've said, I am sitting, I'm actually going to grab a seat, I am sat here in a car show, first time I've sat down. Um, if, you don't, if you're new to the channel, that's just the way I run things. Nothing scripted, nothing's pre-wrote, so if any stuff's incorrect, don't hang on me every word. Catch you soon.